everything might not be fun. Yeah, the politicians keep saying, what's why is their healthcare system so expensive? And like, duh. How does that make any sense? We'll figure it out. This is the thing, I'm just getting totally engaged now, and I don't know what to do. Hey, so every now and sorry for the darkness, but it's a beautiful setting over here in the South River, and every now and then I just need to vent a little bit. And over the last 24 hours, I saw three patients that were very instructive about what's wrong with our system. And I just wanted to talk a little about that. Um, and a lot of it has to do with just overdoing stuff. So I had a patient, great guy, about 80 years old, got some kidney disease, hypertension. He sees a cardiologist every now and then just because. Um, gets stress tests every year because that's what they do. Um, and has been on statin, cholesterol medicines, aspirin, that kind of stuff. And basically, he got really dizzy. We saw him for the dizziness, and it sounded like it was vertigo. But then, a couple days later, he kind of tripped and got really dizzy and fell on his table. So his wife whisked him over to the hospital. And in the hospital, what they did is a blood test called a troponin. Why they do a troponin? Because they do this stuff. They do everything. They do an EKG. They do a CAT scan of the head. They do 25,000 blood tests. They just do stuff. And this troponin is actually a test that tells you if you're having a heart attack. And it was mildly elevated. But older people with kidney disease, it's pretty much elevated 100% of the time. But that wasn't good enough for these guys. I mean, you shouldn't even do this test. But they do it. They do all these tests. So they call in the cardiologist and they did an EKG. It was normal. And they said, we better do a catheterization. And they did a catheterization on this guy. Mind you, a catheterization is an invasive test that has nothing to do with the guy's dizziness. He had no chest pain. He had nothing like that. Um, and it showed a blockage of about 75%. So they said, my God, hydroponin in a blockage, we better whisk him away. Um, so they whisked him away to University Hospital. Um, they got the tough, you know, the big guys on board and they put in a stent in that blockage and they kept him there a couple days to make sure everything was okay. They doubled up his cholesterol medicine, so he's on this whopping dose now. They gave him aspirin and Plavix. They changed his blood pressure medicine around because his pressure was high. I wonder why. Um, and I got to see him the following week because we're required to in Medicare, but it's good practice anyway. And first thing he said to me was his dizziness wasn't gone yet, duh, because they never addressed it. As soon as he got in, they immediately looked at this one blood test and went berserk. And $100,000 later, which is about what it cost, he has a stent in an artery that didn't help him a bit. Now mind you, this is a guy that had been getting stress tests every year. Unnecessary stress tests, but stress tests that were normal. Why were they normal? Because this guy who has heart disease, he's on the right medicines to prevent heart attacks, but he's got heart disease, and when you get blockages, as we've talked about, your body bypasses them. So to a stress test, everything's normal. So what these brilliant guys, these cardiologists at the university hospital and everywhere, did was put a stent into an artery that was already bypassed. The body did it for free. No, no problems. The problem is, and, and this guy didn't have any problems. You know, he's a good guy. He came back. I kind of told him all this stuff. He said, look, doc. Just tell me what medicines I'm supposed to be taking, what I can and can't do. I said, you can do anything. I said, here are your medicines. Cut down your cholesterol medicine. It was already causing him pain. So you don't need high-dose cholesterol medicines. They do it because they, everything's knee-jerk to these guys. But there have been ample studies about this. Anyway, he was okay. The problem is there's like a 2% chance you'll get a stroke from this. There's a 0% chance you'll prevent a heart attack. So this guy was put in harm's way. Nothing bad happened to him. He's got a piece of metal in his chest now. He's got a new disease because we doctors like giving you as many diseases as we can. And he goes on his merry way and he has to take a couple blood thinners for a while. This is, this is just, one, I mean, seriously, a couple patients later, I had a similar scenario. A guy got dizzy. He was about the same age. He has a neurologist. He went to his neurologist. He has a neurologist for no good reason. The neurologist sent him to a cardiologist. The cardiologist did a stress test with dye, thallium. Now, mind you, 
There's nothing you're going to find in a stress test that's going to lead you to be dizzy. Luckily for this guy, the stress test was normal. But this guy gave me the bill. He just wanted to show me that actually this cardiologist got paid $3,000 to do this unnecessary stress test. And he did other tests to the cardiologist. The overall bill was closer to 5000 when the day was over for about as much time as I take with a patient just to, for a visit. I get about 100 which is plenty. I'm not asking for more, but are you kidding me? You know, why our system's going under? But again, they put the patient in harm's way. Not only could they have possibly found a problem that they would unnecessarily treat, but the guy fell off the treadmill. He actually, they, they, ra they raised the, the uh, incline and the speed too quickly and he fell off. He could have broken his freaking hip for this unnecessary test. Now, a lot of patients after they've gone through all this would, would say how thorough everything is, you know. Thank God for this thorough doctor. Or the one who went to the hospital said, God, I'm glad I was dizzy because they discovered this blockage that would have killed me tomorrow if I hadn't fixed it. That's the way a lot of doctors talk and a lot of patients who are on the receiving end of unnecessary care, that's what they think. They got these tests and their lives were saved. But meanwhile, these two patients weren't like that at all. They realized what was going on. They're smarter than the doctors who did the test. The one guy in the hospital just kind of went through it because he figured he was supposed to. The other guy did the test, not knowing why he should, but he did it and he realized it was a crock of bull, all of it. But they went through it. Their insurance paid for it. The cardiologist pockets a lot of money and you know that's the way our system works. It's very frustrating to have this happen. I had another guy the same day who went to an urgent care center for a cold, got an x-ray, an EKG, a urine test and blood test for a cold. Guess what? The x-ray turned out to be a little abnormal. So they sent him to a lung doctor. They did a CAT scan. You know what the CAT scan said? I had to talk to the guy. Uh, I have to talk to him next week. But the CAT scan said either this is normal scarring or it's severe cancer. Seriously, that's what the CAT scan says. I got to talk to this guy about it. He's never smoked. He's not short of breath. His cough is gone. Feels fine. He never coughs. It's bull. Now we're going to put this guy down a whole road. He's going to be diagnosed with garbage. He's going to have to have more tests. He's going to be scared. Ridiculous. This is our stupid system. Doing tests for no reason. Re costing the system a ton of money. The, the worst thing for me is the fact that when patients actually think this is good, that these doctors are thorough, when actually these doctors are non-thinking automatrons for putting people through unnecessary tests, and because of their stupidity, they make money on it. I mean, this is our medical system. That's why we have the highest expenditures in the industrialized world and the worst outcomes. And we have a lot of willing patients willing to play the game and do all this stuff. So, as I said, I'm venting today because I had all these patients in a row. I see patients like this every day. Luckily, most of my patients have been educated and they don't allow this stuff to happen. And they're better off for it. The doctors aren't. Anyway, see you soon. Hey, so if you're equally annoyed by our dysfunctional healthcare system and all the garbage you're being fed, then give me an email, log on to my website, which is listed down here. Let me know what you want me to talk about and I'll just keep feeding you information and we'll discuss this and hopefully make some changes. See you later.